Hello, Leo viewers. So today I'm going to look into your situation. I'm just going to pull the cards out and see what the current story is. So this could be a past person, someone new coming in. I'm just going to see what the energy looks like. I'm um, going to try to look in and see what this person might be feeling, thinking, wanting with you, um, if they're going to be taking any action towards you over the next couple weeks. So we'll just pull the cards and just see what the cards want to say and what the story is. So for the Leos that are drawn to this video, what is going on with your love life right now? What do we need to know? For the Leo viewers, what do we need to know what's happening there? What is the story? Please clear, be very clear, be very direct, very direct messages for the Leo viewers. Okay. Ten of Wands, the Devil, the Three of Swords. Coming out of conflict with someone or coming out of a, a negative situation. The Hierophant death. Yeah, some kind of controlling situation or just some type, something that was holding you back, some kind of stagnant energy. Um, there's, you know, that the ending of that stagnant energy. So that's good. Could be communication too with somebody. Maybe you, you haven't been able to communicate clearly with somebody, but you're starting to now. You guys are starting to finally get on the same page. So you do have the justice here coming in. And the Page of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. So a new start. You know, this could be a new start with career or finances. Um, it's, it's, you know, it's passion. Whatever this is, this is something that you're really passionate about. Something that's going to bring you probably financial or career success and abundance. You know, you just, you have this new start here, or you could have, um, you could have like a job offer or your, your business might be opening back up or something like that. If it's been closed, there could be something like that that's coming towards you. It's just some type of good news that's coming in here. Because I think there's two different stories here. For some of you, this was a job that was weighing you down. You know, you kind of felt like you were in chains here. There was just a lot of pressure and a lot of stress that was on you. It might have been also that you were taking on a lot of the, the workload. Like your, your coworkers weren't really appreciating you or your managers weren't really appreciating you. They weren't really seeing your efforts. Um, it was just kind of like a stagnant job. It was like it was kind of just weighing heavily on you. And... You know, it was like you're in this controlled situation where it's, it's like, and it's the death of this energy where maybe you suffered a job loss and you're still kind of upset about it, but it was necessary. It was like, it was a very, the job wasn't going anywhere, you know, and if this is your story, you should resonate with it. You'd probably know um, if, if this is resonating with you, you know, with the Hierophant, it's like an institution, but it's, I also see it as um, control and possibly even stagnant energy. You know, there wasn't a lot of room for creativity and growth. Your your efforts, your um, innovative spirit, your, um, you know, trying to take control, trying to take the lead, it just, it backfired. Like, people weren't really, your coworkers or your managers were not really appreciating you. So your guide stepped in and got you out of that situation. But this is something that you've worked hard for, so maybe there's... Maybe this job was going to get you somewhere, like you were trying to get a certain promotion, or maybe you're in a specific field, um, but you do have justice coming in. So I feel like even if it wasn't this job, you're still going to be able to take that energy and what you learn from this job and continue on and start your own thing. Or if, it, if it's something um, like a certain field you were in, for example, like say you were Say you were doing dog training or something and you were, um, just for example, you know, it could be anything, but just let's say dog training, for example, it's like you're a dog trainer at some resort or something, but they weren't, um, appreciating the way that you train the dogs. They had their own strict way that they wanted you to do things and they didn't realize how creative and unique your way of doing things was. They didn't realize, you know, these, these creative, wonderful ideas that you have, they just weren't appreciated there. So you're going to end up, um like starting your own dog training business or that kind of, it's that kind of energy, you know what I mean? Where you're going to take this, you're going to, you got out of that stagnant job and you're going to take that energy and you're going to go forward and you're going to do your own thing with it. You're going to um, either find a job that appreciates you and, and wants that creativity and gives you room for growth or you're just going to start your own business and you're just going to go on your own path so you can be true to yourself and not have to answer to anybody. 
for others, I feel, um, and it could, you, it's possible that both stories are for you too, but there's just a quick message about career that wanted to come through. For others, I feel like this could be a situation where you were not communicating well with somebody or somebody wasn't understanding you. It's like there's this heavy burden here with a ton of wands, this pressure and this stress, and it's like you just couldn't carry that weight anymore. You were tired of not being heard. With a devil card, it's like you may have felt trapped. You may have wanted to run away. Maybe had negative coping mechanisms. Um, with the three of swords reversed, it's kind of like you just cried all the tears you could cry. You just you couldn't handle the pressure anymore. The pressure broke you. Whether this was career or whether this is like a relationship or communication, it's like whatever happened, it's like the pressure just broke you and you kind of maybe lost yourself for a little bit there or kind of turned towards toxic coping mechanisms or you just felt trapped basically. And with the three of swords here, it's like you're all cried out. Like you can't you can't handle the pressure anymore from this. Um, with the Hierophant, see, I think I feel like your guides have been pushing you out of stagnant energy when it comes to both love and finances. They've been pushing you out of stagnation and trying to push you um, forward. They're trying to push you to let go of, I, th I feel like you guys have some control issues, basically, is what this reading is telling me, that there's some control issues, there's a fear of letting go, there's um, a desire to control your environment, to kind of be right all the time, to be above everything, which, you know, if you've been through trauma, that's normal. We all go through those phases where we are a bit controlling, you know, we go through those phases. If you've been through trauma, if you've been hurt a lot, it's normal to develop control issues because it's like you want to be safe. You want to protect yourself. You want to have control and knowledge over your environment. You want to know who's who. You want to, you want to be aware. But sometimes it's almost like um, not diagnosing anyone with PTSD. I'm not, you know, full disclaimer, I'm not a doctor. I can't diagnose anyone. But it's, it's energy similar to PS, PTSD. So I'm not saying it is PTSD. I'm saying that the energy reminds me of PTSD, basically, where it's it's like a... Like you just can't let go. It's like a, it's like there's these triggers that you have basically. I think, and so I feel like your guides have been pushing you out of that stagnant energy. They've been trying to help you address these control issues and trying to push you out of your comfort zone, um, so you can get back in touch with your more free spirited side, so that you, you can get the creativity flowing, so that you can stand on your own two feet again, so that you're not just on autopilot, not just scared and in this controlled environment and controlled situation. You know. Power font is like society institutions. It's um, it's having to be right all the time. It's you know tra traditions, um, conservative energy, uh, laws, just a very narrow-minded, strict way of doing things. And your guides came in almost like with a tower sort of moment. There was the death of this energy where it's like you broke, and um. You just kind of snapped, and they're ending this energy, this control. They're pushing you out of that that controlled energy. And it's like you were trying to control everything for so long that you kind of just lost yourself. Like with the Ten of Wands, it's like you have it's like overthinking and overanalyzing. It's like you had so much pressure on you, and a lot of it was probably pressure you put on yourself, just trying to control and trying to analyze everything. I think you exhausted yourself to the point where you just kind of broke and you might be going through a dark night of the soul now. You might be going through this phase where it's like you kind of just, like you bottled everything up and you just kind of exploded and now you have to deal with that chaos, with those emotions because you didn't acknowledge the negative before. You know, you tried to be positive, you tried to control everything and, you know, because of that you kind of ignored the negative, you ignored your true feelings, you ignored your pain, you ignored the things that needed to be looked at to be healed, um, you know, you, we were just kind of in survival mode. And it's, it's like you have to merge the light and the darkness. There is no light without darkness. I mean, I do think that the light should be, I try to have like a 60-40 or a 70-30 balance, you know, mostly light, but some darkness. But, but you know, you can't just have 100% light all the time. You can't just be 100% happy all the time. You know, you need to cry. You need to let your emotions out. You're, you're going to be angry sometimes. You're going to be upset and sad sometimes. It's okay. It's part of the human experience. Um, you know, and if you don't acknowledge those, you know, supposedly negative feelings, you end up suppressing them. It's like putting a Band-Aid on a gunshot wound. It doesn't work. 
the wound festers and it gets even worse, you know? It's like you try to suppress all that that pain and that those things that need to be acknowledged and released and healed. You try to suppress it and pretend like everything's okay and it's going to explode on you later in much uglier ways, like what I think is happening to you now or what's just happened recently to you, I feel, is just you suppressed it for too long and the burden just got to be too much and it just kind of exploded. And again, for some of you, this could be work. It could be you were just trying to be trying to impress your boss and your coworkers and trying to do all the right things and the pressure got to be too much but now you're you're finding yourself in you're going to stand on your own two feet and do your own thing when it comes to career you're not going to let your boss or you're, you're done with that situation you're getting out of that situation but for a lot of you it's just kind of talking about control issues in general it's like you just you suppressed everything and now you're kind of exploding and um you know, the devil could almost be talking about toxic coping mechanisms of positivity, you know? It's like the positive vibes only energy. It's it's not healthy, in my opinion. The the positive vibes only thing, it just doesn't work, you know? You're, you're human. You're gonna, you need to, to allow yourself to feel. You need to allow yourself to cry and to heal and to acknowledge your feelings and just let your feelings flow freely you know going against what you feel creates this battle inside of yourself and you end up suppressing your emotions and they just like i said they just come out later on in uglier ways so it's important to really find a good balance find a good healthy balance with this um you know so i think you you're kind of in this point where you're you're finding you're you're looking at the bigger picture and you're kind of changing your perspective on life and on love and and finances and all these other things you're changing your perspective may have hit rock, rock bottom to some degree, but it's like it was necessary to get you out of this controlled, stagnant energy. Um, like that explosion, that chaos, that, that it was all of, all of that was just necessary to get things flowing for you again. And with the Seven of Pentacles, I think that you, you know, you're being rewarded for letting go of this old energy, for letting go of this stagnation, for being willing to step out of your comfort zone. You're being rewarded all the hard work you've done. And there's justice coming in. You're being rewarded for all this hard work you've done. For some of you, I feel like this is communication with a person where maybe it just got stagnant. It was too much. It all just, it, it, it was like, it was kind of toxic. You were tired of trying to be heard. Um, the situation was kind of stagnant and controlled. And now things are flowing more freely, but freely between you guys. And because you're in this new energy, they're seeing you in a new light. They're seeing that you're letting go of the control issues. They're seeing that you're acknowledging your shadow side, that you're doing the shadow work. They see that you're being true to yourself, that you're just being your raw, unapologetic self. You're not being, you're not stagnant anymore. Things are starting to flow. Maybe you're communicating in a different, more open way. You know, you're starting to just get out there and live your life again. You're starting to just let things flow again. And so because you're willing to step out of your comfort zone and you're willing to face your truth and make these important life changes and just, you know, let your emotions flow again, you're, you're being rewarded for being willing to do this work, for being willing to, to dive in deep and um, get back in touch with who you really are and get back in touch with your emotions. There's rewards coming your way for that. So there could be new starts with, with career and new starts with love and passionate too. Could be taking some romantic trips with somebody. Because I see the Page of Wands, it's kind of like, it's like new adventures and it's it's passion and it's romance. So there could be like a vacation coming up with somebody. There could be just renewed romance. Like if this is somebody that you're currently with, I think they're starting to see you in another light, like in a, in a good way, like they're starting to see the life changes that you're making. They're starting to see that you're, you're more open, you're communicating more, you're less defensive, you're more empathetic, you're more spiritual, things are flowing for you more, you're more free spirited and fun and down to earth. You know, you're getting back in touch with this kind of inner child, free spirited, loving, happy go lucky kind of energy. And this person is really noticing it and really turned on by it. And because of that, they're wanting to match that energy and maybe take you on a vacation or do something nice for you. But they're definitely really turned on by how your energy is at the moment. So let me see if I can get anything else on this person. So we have, you know, renewed romance, love. What else can we get? What else? Is there any other story here with this person? What else do we want to say about it? What else is there to say about it? OK, 
I didn't mean for those to all be upside down. I think I just didn't do that right. <laughs> Six of Cups, Queen of Wands, Three of Wands, the High Priestess. Ooh, that's good. That's good. Uh, the Four of Cups, the King of Ah, King of Swords, and the Star. Okay. I feel like your person is really proud of the life changes you're making. Now, whether this is somebody you're actually with now or it's like an ex that you're kind of like, you know, maybe you guys are wanting to work things out or they're watching you on social media and kind of, you know, keeping an eye and seeing where you're at. They're really proud of you. So if you had like, let's say you had like alcohol or drug addiction in the past and you've been healing from that, they're really proud of you. Or if you're... Maybe you had toxic ways of communicating in the past and you're really making an effort to communicate in more healthy ways or you're just, um, your, your energy is just better basically is how they're seeing you right now. They're seeing a difference between how you used to be and how you currently are. Like they really see the life changes that you're making and they're really proud of you. So whatever this is, you know, like I said, everyone's story is going to be different. For some, it's it's drug or al alcohol addiction or you might be getting treatment for mental illness. Or maybe you're taking a new job or you're just doing, you're starting to do things that are scary for you. Things that you never in the past thought you could do. You know, you're starting to be brave and you're starting to to. I don't even want to say find yourself because it's like you're, you're making a new, you're creating a new version of yourself. It's like you're not even really going back to who you used to be. You're, you're, you're really being introspective right now and creating this new version of yourself that you want to see. And this person is really turned on by that. With the Six of Cups, I feel like there is some nostalgia here. Like I feel like, I feel like this is regarding love. Like there is nostalgia for this person and I feel like they're, they're part of, you wanting them back or, or this connection is part of the reason you're making these changes. You know what I mean? Like you like that energy. You like that they're proud of you. You want to do right by them. So this is like if you guys used to argue, it's like you're trying to communicate in better ways with them now. Um, or you're being more patient with them. There's like there's something in the way that you're communicating and your energy and your words and your actions and behavior that just seems so pure to them right now. Like it seems so different from the past. It seems like you're really on, like they see that you're really on the right path now, that you're really bettering yourself and bettering your life. And they're really proud of you for being in this, you know, this queen of wands, three of wands, charismatic, passionate, powerful, um, free-spirited, flowing, uh, loving energy, you know, taking control of your life making your life what you want it to be, really working on yourself and being the kind of person that you want to be. Um, so if you if you just got a new job too, they're really proud of you for that, I feel. With the high priestess too, I feel like they're... I feel like that's kind of how they're seeing you now is the queen of wands, the high priestess. It's somebody who's intuitive, who's spiritual, who's strong, who's a leader, just this very powerful, feminine, empathetic energy that they're seeing you in, you know. There's some, there's an emphasis on patience, too. Like, wow, my person is, like, so much more patient or they're so much more open. They're communicating in such in such a more open way. They're so much happier. There's so much, um, they're being so real now, you know. Like, maybe you had defense mechanisms and control issues before and you're really working through those and you're really working on just being patient and empathetic and open and your person is really noticing your efforts and they notice the, these life changes that you're making. I feel like your person is putting in a lot of effort into not into making sure things aren't boring. You see with the four of cups here, this is like boredom. This is like stagnant energy. I feel like your person is really invested in you making these life changes as well. Like they don't want to see you go back to being bored or being in this controlling energy or being stagnant or numb. Or they, they just don't want to sink, see you sink back to where you were before. They want you to keep up with these life changes. They want you to keep up with bettering yourself and working on this relationship with them. So with the King of Swords, it's like they're kind of strict and serious about that. Like they're going to be on your ass. They're going to make sure you don't fall back down to those old patterns. You know, this person really wants to make sure. And if this isn't somebody that you're actually with, this could be an ex who's spying on your social media and they're making sure that these life changes, like if you're getting counseling or you're getting some type of help or some type of treatment or you're making certain life changes or trying to find a new job or whatever it might be, 
they're really kind of watching you on social media and making sure that these life changes are actually going to stick. They want to make sure it's not just like, oh, you're doing well for a couple of weeks and then you go back to the same crap as before. They're really watching watching you right now and kind of just spying and observing to make sure that these life changes are going to be consistent before they come back in. You know, they want to make sure it's secure and steady before they invest too much in this again. And um, yeah, with the Four of Cups, it's like they are invested in this, definitely. I feel the King of Swords, like I said, they're going to be on your ass. They're going to be making sure, they're going to be really watching you to make sure that these life changes stick, to make sure you don't get back to boredom, numbness, whatever it might be whatever stagnation that might be. They want to make sure you're, you know, you stay in this free flowing, free spirited, um, motivating, motivated kind of energy that you've been in. They, they like that. It turns them on with the King of Swords too. I think that, you know, this is, I see, cause I always interpret this card differently. So the King of Swords can mean something negative in a different spread, but this one, you know, I just use these as a tool, but I always channel the meanings of the cards. I always look at the energy of it. I don't just go by the actual definition of the King of Swords. I really look at each card and the story that I'm being shown here. So I feel like, yeah, it is kind of like serious, strict energy. Like he or she is on your ass. He or she is making sure like, like a boot camp drill sergeant, you know, they're making sure you're doing well, but it's, it's, it's good. It's good. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to post a channeled song in the comments below as well. I'm most likely, I feel that, hmm. I feel that you stepping up is also making them want to step up more. Like seeing you making these life changes and seeing you take the relationship seriously or seeing you communicate in healthier ways, seeing you be more patient, empathetic, whatever this new energy is that you've been taking on that's been really turning them on, um, that seeing that energy in you is making them want to step up for you too. So it's like if you just got a new job and they're unemployed, they're wanting to find a new job too to match you. Or if you're being patient and empathetic and communicating better, they're going to try to be patient and empathetic and communicate better with you too. They're going to, they're trying to match your energy right now. They're taking this connection more seriously and wanting to move forward with the connection and wanting to move towards that next level of commitment. So if you're not together, then it's, you know, them kind of waiting and watching and seeing if these life changes stick and then coming in with possibly a love offer. If you guys are already together, this could be the next step in the relationship. Like if they see that these changes stick, and that this relationship really is going somewhere and you guys really are communicating better, then this could be like moving in together or some sort of energy like that where they want to take things to the next level or maybe like a promise ring or something of that sort or going on vacation together. Um, they just want to show you that they, they do appreciate you and that they do notice the life changes that you're making and they are really proud of you and they, they just want to be safe and make sure that you actually stay on this good path that you're on right now. So they are kind of, you know, some of them might be kind of sitting back and observing for a little bit and making sure this is legit and solid before they take that next step and next level of commitment. But, but yeah, with the King of Swords here, they are taking the relationship more seriously. They are wanting to match your energy. They are wanting to be your rock and, and keep you on this good path that you're on. With the star, you know, they're planting the seeds. They are hoping for this future with you. They're, 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 um, they're seeing you plant the seeds too. Is that a hummingbird? I never noticed that before. Hummingbirds represent love too. So that's good. It's a good sign. It's a chuparosa. I'm drawn to the flowers. I don't know why, if that means something for somebody, the flowers, are they going to give you flowers maybe? something of that sort, some kind of love offer here, but, but the seeds are being planted. So, so again, they're just, they're observing. Um, as long as, yeah, if you keep up with his energy, I think you guys are good. I think the connection looks, looks like it's going to be pretty solid from what I can gather from the cards. So if this resonates, please go ahead and subscribe. And, you know, like I said, for what they're, what, for their action, regarding the action they're taking towards you over the next couple of weeks. So again, they're kind of watching and making sure that these changes are going to be solid. So some of them aren't going to take action just yet. They're going to wait it out and really have that security and just know for sure. Cause maybe in the past, it's like, maybe you communicated better for a little bit and then you went back to the old ways or the old control issues, or maybe maybe if it's like drinking or drugs, like maybe you, maybe in the past you quit for a little while and then you went back to it. 
So they don't want to get hurt again. They don't want to, and they don't want to, they want to be safe. So they're going to watch you for a while, whether you're not, whether, whether you're together or not, they're going to be observing you and watching you for a while and making sure that this is, this change isn't just like in the moment, like you want to impress them. They want to make sure this is like really deep rooted change that's going to last. They want to make sure that you don't ever go back to whatever it is you, you used to do or whatever energy that you used to be. And they want to make sure that you're staying on the right path. So they are, you know, regarding the action they're taking towards you, they're just, they're going to watch for a while. They're going to kind of wait it out. They're going to observe you. They are proud of you. You know, they are, they do see that you're on a good path. They are proud of you. Um, they are really impressed and turned on by your energy right now. So just continue on with that, you know, continuing, continue bettering your life, continue making these important life changes, continue just being your, your true self. Like you don't need to be fake for them. They just want you to be your true self. They want you to let go of the control issues. They want you to let go of the, whatever toxic energy used to be holding you down. They just want you to continue to let go of that. So you can be the free spirited, empathetic, you know, free flowing, loving person that you are so that you can get back into that energy again. That's the person they fell in love with. That's the person they want to see in you again. And that's the person they're starting to see in you again. They're seeing that old and that, 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 you know, who you really are. They're seeing you on a soul level now, and they just want to make sure that energy continues. And once they have that certainty, which could take a bit of time, like I said, they want to know that it's not just like, oh, this, he or she changes for a week or two and then they go back to the same shit, you know? They, they're they gonna watch and wait for a little while and make sure these changes are really long-term, but once they do, that I do feel them, once they feel that security and stability with this, once they feel it's legit, it's concrete, I do feel like they're probably gonna be taking the relationship to the next level. So whether this is asking to get back together with you or whether this is, if you guys are together, then asking to move in with you or asking you to move in with them, um, or giving you a promise ring. I do see them once they have the security taking it to the next step. So anyway, if this resonates, please go ahead and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.